definitely a crab on this one, at least one. Feels really heavy. What's up guys, Starfishing coming back at you with another terrible weather. Most people would have stayed home, but I'm out here fishing uh, video for you guys. And today, we're gonna try to do a catch and cook. I'm out here crab snaring off the rocks, hoping for a keeper dungeness or rock crab, whatever we get. Have my crab snare soaking out here for about 10 minutes already. So in a few minutes here, I'm gonna do my first pull and uh, hopefully there's some crabs. So when you're crab snaring, you wanna tighten your drag your drag almost all the way so that your line isn't able to slip at all because any type, any type of slack, that's when those crabs can come unlooped and uh, come off the snare. So I'm gonna tighten down my drag almost all the way where it's pretty much locked down and I give it a good yank to hopefully set those loops and uh, see if there's a crab on here. So I didn't get anything on that pole, but I do see some activity, so it's looking like there are some crabs out here. I'm gonna get this one back out there and see if we can get one. good feeling about this one. Oh yeah, that's good. Definitely a crab on this one, at least one. Feels really heavy. Oh yeah, there's a crab on it. A slow and steady wins the race here. You don't want to yank it, you don't want to jerk it, because that's when you could get that slack in your line, and that's when the crabs can come off. Yeah, there we go. Two for the price of one here. Let me get these unlooped here. That's why it felt so heavy, because there was two of them on there. And these are both Dungeness crab. This one right here is a female. You can see the apron there is wide, whereas this one is a male. The apron is skinny. Female, way too small. Here in California, we can keep males and females, but this one way too small. So I'm gonna get let this one go. And then this one is pretty close to the legal limit. So I'm gonna get my crab gauge, and we'll measure this guy to see if he makes it. So the legal limit here in California is five and three quarter inches, which is from this spot all the way to that point right there. And this one measures just over five and three quarters. I don't know if you can see it's hitting there, just barely. You can see he's hitting right there. He's not a keeper by much, but he is a keeper, so that's gonna be our lunch right there. The one impressive thing about that one is this snare, I don't know if you can notice anything different about it, but it actually only has five loops. One of the loops broke off the last time I was crab snaring, and uh, we managed to get two crabs even with only five loops. Here in California, you're allowed to have six legally, so ideally I'd like to have six on here, but hey, it's working. I guess it's a good luck snare. So really quick, I won't go over the whole setup. I've done that in previous videos, but one thing I will say is when you're crab staring, you definitely want to be using braid. You don't want any stretch in that line, because stretch creates slack, and slack is the bad news when you're uh, crab staring. So this is 40 pound braided line. It was actually sent to me by this company called Runkle, and uh, I wanted to test it a few times before I put it in a video, but so far so good. I haven't had any problems, no nicks or weak spots in the line. And uh, it's a little bit cheaper than the name brand stuff online. So I'll leave this linked in the description below if you want to check that out. And uh, shout out to Runkle for providing this line for me. So we're going to keep this crab snaring and then uh, we'll start cooking up this crab pretty soon here. All 
Alright guys, we're gonna start the cooking portion of this and we're just gonna do a good old fashioned crab boil. And all we got here is a pot of salt water and then I have my portable burner here. I'm just gonna fold out. Alright, let's get this going. So we're gonna turn the propane on and get it going like so. And then we're just gonna bring this, this is just salt water straight from the ocean. We're just gonna bring this to a boil and then we're gonna throw our crab in. We've got our crab legs here. I already took the top shell off. You do wanna keep that shell just in case someone comes by, checks you, make sure you got legal size crab. So we do have that top shell right over here. But uh, just in terms of cleaning this up, all you wanna do is shake it out a little bit, get those guts out, get the sand out, and then they have these gills right here. People call them the dead man fingers. You just want to take those off because those aren't edible. You don't want to deal with those. So we just take all those off. Feel like gunk off there and there we go. So there's our two sets of crab legs and that's the edible part of the crab. That's what we're going to be throwing in this boiling water. And uh, yeah, not boiling yet, but we're getting there. All right guys, we got our water boiling now. You're wondering why I took my rain jacket off. Uh, let's just say the camera takes priority over my warmth when it's raining like this, so. Just another dire fishing video here in the rain, catching, cooking the rain. So we got our boiling water here. We're just gonna drop our crab legs right in there. Kind of curl them up so that they fit nice and evenly here. One in. The other one in there. There we go. And these cook pretty quick. They only need to be in there for about eight to ten minutes, so I'll catch you back in eight minutes. Alright guys, it's been about eight minutes and I think our crab is nice and done. So we're gonna turn off the heat here. Actually we'll just turn it down. Actually no, we'll turn it off. Turn off the heat, and uh, I'm just gonna pour out this water. There's our one set of legs. And there's our second. This is about as fresh as it gets out here on the rocks. So next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna, I dumped out all that salt water. Now what we're gonna do is melt a little bit of butter. And to do that, I'm just going to dump it right in here. And then I'll turn this heat on back to low. Let that boil down for a little bit. Okay, so we've got our melted butter in here. And now all that's left to do is to eat. Don't want to lose any meat here. Oh yeah. So sweet, so fresh. Best thing I like to do is just take this claw right here and just dip it right in the butter. Lost a piece, dip back. Just like that. Give you guys a nice close up view there. Look at that meat, nice and fresh. So sweet, so tender. Like I said before, it doesn't get any fresher than this. Probably one of the best crab I've ever had. Dude, this is just so good. Nice piece of meat there. That's the good thing about these Dungeness is the light meat so much more than the rock crab. I mean, I do like rock crab as well. In terms of taste, I think it's pretty, pretty similar. But in terms of yield, this Dungeness is second to none. I mean, this crab was out there feeding not more than like half an hour ago. You can't get that type of freshness at the store. Yeah, look at that, that's from the legs right there. And that's not even the biggest leg, that's one of the smaller legs.
Doesn't get any better than that right there. That's the leg meat. Just pure amazingness, as far as I'm concerned. Mm, so good. All right, gonna take a little break to check my crabs there. Then I'll finish the other half. and eating, we just got another crab here. Little female, definitely too small. We'll toss her back, but just a quick little catch there in between eating. I think the hot butter also adds a nice touch to it, especially on a cold day like this. Honestly, the crab probably doesn't need butter. It's so sweet on its own. But I still like to have it. For some reason, I just like that. A little bit of butter taste. Hope my dentist isn't watching. Just want to thank you guys for watching. All you that have subscribed to the channel so far, I think we're about to hit, by the time this video is posted, we're probably close to 16,000 if not over, so. Thank you guys for everyone who subscribed so far. If you have it, if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you do so. I also haven't advertised this in a while, but I'll leave my Instagram link below and Facebook, I have two pages. If you wanna stay up to date with all the videos, and even other stuff I post there where well, I'm not necessarily posting videos, so check that out if you're interested. Those are linked below, but other than that, I'm gonna finish off this last claw here. Thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you next time. Final bite. Just as good as the first.